This video is on how to do clouds. Uh, I'll just try to give you a few tips. Everybody's clouds are going to look different, but I'll just give you some painting tips. Um, when I do clouds, I have my under layer, and then I'm going to apply the clouds on top. Um, the best um, thing I could tell you is making sure that your paint is wet when you're applying different values going on in your clouds. And what I mean by that is um, I'll start with uh, my clouds and I'll go in like a dabbing motion and I'll just like block color and sometimes you'll be able to see that the color that you painted underneath will come through um, and you'll also sometimes see that you're gonna have um, maybe some like grayish blue clouds or like a purpley color cloud coming through and you want to have some of the, that paint mixed ahead of time and when you're after you apply the white you want to be able to apply the color on top of the white when it is wet so that it mixes in with each other in some areas you don't really want to mix completely um, in some areas you want to just leave so what I mean by that is um, Okay, so like if I'm working on this gray area, in my picture, there's different tones of the gray. There's like um, a purplish gray, and it's like a little darker in some areas. So like I'll apply the dark, and I will almost kind of leave it there. And then I'll gradually like fade out the other areas that are a little lighter in with that white. Sometimes I'll blotch, and sometimes I'll just like kind of do like a swiping motion. Um, but the trick is just, you know, getting a blotching motion to make it look like they're moving and they're billowy. You know, no cloud is ever just white. There's always going to be some form of gray probably throughout it or like a grayish blue and another thing that I want to uh, show you is I've noticed this on a lot of people's clouds that I was helping with um, they have this transition where they need to make this look more natural rather than just leaving the white on top of that color so um, what you want to do, get the color mixed a little bit first here. What I will do, oh, of course I'm not getting the right color. Um, in that area, it'll be wet. So there's the color that is the underneath part. And then here I want to start to transition to clouds. It's sometimes easier to do when both things are wet, like both paint areas are wet. And to get that nice transition here, I'm going to overlap a little bit, but I need to keep wiping the paint off my brush. Because right in this area here, my clouds aren't as billowy as they are right there. There's always seems to be like a color under it, and then all of a sudden, like above, they'll get billowy. Another thing I will do sometimes is um, you'll find like you'll have your color underneath that you applied but then there's like maybe some subtle clouds going over it. Um, what I'll do is I'll make sure my brush is clean. I'll take a little little tiny white on my brush like barely any and I will you know kind of 
wipe like a little bit of the, the white paint over it like this. And then I'll, I'll take the paint off my brush and then I'll just gradually kind of smooth it. And actually sometimes I even take just a little tad of water. I mean, it might take off, it depends on the person, it might take off some of the paint and the canvas will come through, but if you just do it ever so delicately, it might not happen and it might be okay. Okay, so the trick is making sure that the two colors that are together, so for instance, here's my picture, this color underneath here and the clouds above it, they're both wet as you're, you know, transitioning from, you know, the one area to the next. And another tip when you're painting, I'm going to say this over and over again in probably all my videos, make sure you always have, oh, uh, there's that bell again, it always interrupts me. Sorry. Always have paper towel in your hand and you always want to keep wiping off that excess paint when you're trying to blend. Like if you're blending two things, wipe off the paint, blend, overlap, wipe off the paint, overlap, wipe off the paint again. It really, really helps to blend easier rather than getting like the color into the area you don't want that color to go into. Okay. So if you have any other questions with the clouds, I'm always willing to help. Um, there's many di different types of clouds, so it's kind of hard to do uh, a bunch of videos on everybody's clouds. So you'll just have to take some of the tips that I gave you and go with it. Good luck.